Wow. Awesome. Welcome to The Daily Show. Thank you, man. Um, it's a pleasure to be here. It Thank is a you pleasure so to have you here. You know, um, you, you, you're in this movie, and one of the people who is your co-stars, Mo Amar, is a comedian who I've been friends with for a very long time. Yes. And so he, he sent me a random message. He was just like, yo, Q's coming to your show. Yeah. And gave me no other information. <laughs> when, who, who's Q, how Q, I, I don't know. <laughs> And then I was like, oh, which Q? And then he's like, what do you mean, which Q? The only Q I work on? I was like, Mo, I don't keep, and now you're here. Yeah. So, uh, welcome Q. It is I. Yeah. It is you. If you don't know, now you know. <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> first things first. Thank you. Yeah. Congratulations on the journey you've had. I mean, people Man. have seen you on Euphoria, people have seen you on uh, the Netflix show Trinkets, and yeah. now to be in the DC film Black Adam with the rock yeah i mean this is huge yeah no it's it's absolutely incredible it's been a dream i feel like i haven't been working very long but i've been able to work with some truly incredible people in this industry pierce aldis like noah um mo marwan sarah the, dj it, it's been truly incredible i like that you get to call him dj yeah sorry no 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 i mean don't be sorry that's, i'm just that's, like dj those are like the perks dj q i'm learning right these are, these are the things <laughs> um it, it, you know, you, you listed those names, and every single one of them has created a piece of a franchise, or they've been part of a franchise, and, and there's so much pressure that comes with that. Mm. But what you're doing is really unique in that you are playing a character in this movie that we haven't seen in a movie before, and that's Cyclone. And oftentimes, people get to play a character that they've seen, they grew up with, they saw. Sometimes it takes the pressure off, sometimes it adds a different pressure. In mm. this case, how did you feel? Was it, was it, was it liberating to just set the tone, or where you're a little nervous that this is a cyclone is what you make of it? Well, it's, I think it's a little bit of both. I think, like, with what you said, cyclone has become such a, like, an important person and an important character in my life, and she's formed so much of, like, how I enter spaces now and how I embrace myself more. Um, so there wasn't, like, any pressure other than to just, like, be my most, like, authentic self and embrace myself and, and trust more, honestly. I love that. So, yeah. I really love that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> have, you, have, you, have you ever struggled with that? Because you, you give off this air, you know, in every interview that you do, every, every, every screening, every vibe, you, you, you give off this energy of just being comfortable in who you are. I mean, when the news came out, you know, that... DC was celebrating the fact that you were the first known non-binary person playing a character in this universe. Even that, you just you just seem to just carry with you, and you're like, yeah, this is who I am. This is how I'm living my life. Like, where did where did you get that swag from? I'd love to know. I, no, I mean, it, it's it's taken like quite a, a bit of time to like embrace that part of myself. I mm -hmm. feel like so much of my life, I've always been searching um, for who I am, my identity, my family, my friends, everything. And I'm, like I said in the beginning, like I've been so lucky to have representations of who I want to be each step of the way. That's cool. Whether it's, you know, whether it's the people that I'm working with yeah. or just the people that I've been able to meet who've helped me cultivate who I am and embrace who I am. And as far as like being the first known non-binary person, I think that's so important you said that because there could be other non-binary people who are questioning trans people who aren't fully out yet. Right. And for me, being able to be fully out um, hopefully can serve as like representation for other people to embrace who they are and step into themselves. Because, I love that. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, I love it because... I love it because in many ways, all superhero stories are an allegory for that journey. You exactly. know, it's, it's the journey of somebody possessing two identities. It's the journey of somebody being, you know, being one person to the people who know them and then being somebody completely different and being their true selves. Mm. I would love to know, what do you think you learned about the idea of, like, what being a hero is? Ooh, okay, such a good question. Um, I mean, I, I feel like for me it shifted because you, you begin to question what you've been indoctrinated to believe. For me personally, it's how, as a Western society, do we view justice and do we have the power to go elsewhere and rid a problem, just like in Black Adam. Yes. You know, we're telling him to be a hero, but he's already a hero for his people. And I think in today's society and in this world, we see that so often, people rising up and people being able to choose who their leaders are. And for me, that made me question that as well, you know, and, and learn more and learn about what's happening in the world today and be curious and be an advocate of that, so. 
I love it. You crushed it. Uh, you crush it in everything that you do, and uh, I'm so excited to see the film. Thank you so much for being oh, on the man. show. Thank you. It's such a pleasure having you here. Thank you. Quintessa Swindell, everybody.